globe has embarked on a massive uh, network transformation. Uh, and this transformation actually is very different in many ways from a traditional uh, transformation that most networks go through. A lot of networks mask modernization and transformation uh, with simply business as usual change out of old equipment. Uh, at Globe, this transformation is very different because it is indeed the building of a brand new network underneath the old one. We are putting in the state of the art when it comes to um, this type of technology. Um, in, in the industry parlance, it's called software-defined radios. A brand new network will be coming, and a brand new network with a brand new performance, brand new capacities, and brand new capabilities will be showing up very shortly here in Metro Manila as well. You know, LTE is the next wave of 4G technology that's about to hit the market, uh, and it is something that should also transform the consumer experience because of the promised faster speeds. For the last six months, uh, we have been moving very quickly and updating about or installing about close to 100 to 110 new sites a week. That's been going on since uh, sometime in April you know, when we hit the mark. So we're quite close to 50% done in terms of the network. So again, I'd like to dispel the negative things that have been said that this network upgrade is going to take five years. It is not going to take five years. It is going to take as much time as we promised, which is now going to be by the end of the year or the first quarter of 2013. Most of the cell sites would have been already installed, the new ones. The old ones decommissioned, uh, and a uh, majority of them will be running the new services that, will be, that was planned for them. We've done approximately 3,000 cell sites already. 2,700 of those include now 4G cell sites. This is 4G WiMAX and 4G HSPA+. Plus. The number of HSPA sites have already doubled and will increase by another 1,000 sites by the end of 2012. This will now bring the total of 4G sites inside the globe network to 4,000 by year end. More broadband customers decided to choose Globe and Tattoo than any other broadband provider in the Philippines. That was all in the last 90 days. Now, if you want my personal opinion, they're doing that for two reasons. One is we consistently and have always focused on delivering a great customer experience, great plans, great products, great service. And secondly, they know that with Globe, we always focus on trying to bring new innovations in a new and different way to the market at a timely fashion, and with Globe, they can trust that their network and their offer will stay world class. And indeed, that's the story of Globe's 4G. If you look back, actually, Globe's been a pioneer in the Philippines on 4G since 2009. We were actually the first um, network to launch 4G uh, with our WiMAX launch in 2009. We are now the largest 4G network in the Philippines. We have over 2,700 4G base stations across the Philippines, and it's growing every day. We were the first to test LTE way back in 2010. And when you talk about LTE, there's a lot of hype, and it's been going on for a number of years. We've consistently said when the devices are right, when the ecosystem is right, that's the right time. And then over a period of time, we've launched a series of internet broadband dongles devices and applications. We just launched our new Gcash application last week. Um, uh, tattoos constantly innovating with new, uh, new sticks and new services. Um, so we, we consider ourselves a leader in this space. And, and from what we get in broadband market share, in net ads, our customers seem to be saying that too.
you're saying the one you present here is the answer. Yes. And let's just be patient because it's going to be finished by you with the congestion that's being experienced today in some some cell sites, not all cell sites. Uh, owing to uh, the number of subscribers that will be on the network and so on and so forth. 